Welcome to this quick introduction to writing a flying logic script. This example script will perform a simple operation. We will create two entities and then connect them by an edge. In the tradition of beginning programming tutorials, one of the entities will be titled Hello World. You may find it useful to start up flying logic and a text editor that can save as plain text. I have already typed two lines of code into the script. The first is just a comment. The second line sets the predefined variable run item label to the text string hello world script. This will appear as the label of the menu item for this script in the scripting menu. Flying logic scripts are written in the Python programming language, which will become apparent to anyone who's familiar with that language. Each of the entities that I'm going to create is going to be signed a different entity class. In the next two lines of code, I'm calling the method getEntityClassByName on the predefined document variable. I save the results of those two calls to two new variables, goal class and action class. I now create the first entity by calling the addEntity method of the document object. Although addEntity can be called with no parameters, if one gives an entity class as a parameter, that entity will immediately be assigned that entity class. Note that addEntity actually returns an array of objects, but the first object is always the actual entity, which has an index of zero. I assign that to a new variable, new entity one. I want to assign a title to this new action entity. I can do this by assigning to the title member variable of the new entity. In this case, I'm giving it the title, write a script. I will now add the second entity. In this case, I'm calling the add entity to target method, which can take two parameters, the first of which is the entity class that I want to assign to the entity, in this case, goal class. And the second parameter is basically the target, what it should connect to. That would be the entity we created earlier. After storing the added entity to another new variable, new entity2, I assign it a title, hello world. There is a problem with this script as written. It is dependent on what the add entity to successor setting is. Since we want to make sure that the hello world entity is a successor of the write a script entity, we should make sure that the add entity as successor setting is as we want. Let's do that. First, I'm going to save that setting. I do that by assigning the add entity as successor member variable of document to a variable, in this case, old setting. Then I can assign true to the value of add entity as successor. All later calls to add entity to target will respect that setting. Then, at the end of the script, I restore the old setting. Let's save the script. I will give it the name helloworld.py, with .py being the standard extension for Python scripts. Let's switch over to Flying Logic and select the Edit Run Script Open Script menu item. I'll locate and open the helloworld.py script. The two new entities and their connecting edge appear in the document. Success. If we go back to the Edit Run Script menu, we will see that a Hello World script menu item is now visible, therefore making it much easier to run a script at a later time. You can even modify the script between runs in Flying Logic. To learn more, open the Help Documentation submenu and open the Flying Logic scripting guide. You can also check for additional resources in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.